Hello, and welcome to issue number 35 of Headline Heroes, a comedy podcast where we take today's headlines and create a comic book origin story. My name is Drew Mick. I'm Nathan Haynes. And I'm Tanner Ackerman. Well, guys, uh, looks like we got uh, another voicemail here. Let's uh, give that a play. Hi, Headline Heroes. Uh, recently, I had the opportunity to try some macaroni and cheese pizza, which brought me the idea of why don't we throw more things on pizza? And then the best idea came to me was, what if we made a McRib pizza that came out, you know, every, let's say, four months, came out for like a month and then went away? Oh, uh, think about the hype. Anyway, uh, get back to me if you want to invest. So well, Tanner, Tanner uh, looks like your brother. <laughs> yeah, was that your brother again? Uh, I, you know, it's hard to tell. Is um, it? <laughs> is it? Is it really hard to tell? Are you guys pretty estranged? <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, is you this never talk about trying whatever. to reconnect with you is calling into a podcast. <laughs> yeah, I don't answer his calls. That's good. It's probably wise. That's good. That's a good relationship. <laughs> um, guys, yeah. Guys, so what are we thinking around, here? Yeah, we're dancing around the question. Let's just get right to it. Let's get in. Hmm. Is McRib back? I heard somewhere it was. I genuinely yeah, by the, by the don't time know. this comes out, it's probably gone. It just comes and goes. Mm-hmm. Why can't there just be a website devoted to is com and then it just says yes or no? Oh, I think it's because it's actually impossible to predict. No one, no one, literally no one on earth knows when they come back. Is Um They're, they're a bunch of liars. Na- that's what I say. We, we could, um, it's for sale. Do you guys want to buy it? I don't even want to know how much this domain costs. Do I? <laughs> Back order this domain. I don't. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll look into this later. Well, there's a McRib locator site. Most recent sighting, Irvine, California. <laughs> do you That's think it pretty also, close? Do you think that that website also caters to like, hey, I bought a McRib four months ago and I still got it. If you're interested, hit me up <laughs> on my mobile. Like, It would still probably be up like good. It'd be fine. Yeah. But no, this isn't the question. McRib pizza. Do we mm. think it's viable? Hmm. I think hmm. I, I think so. I have a couple questions. I like the idea. Is the pizza also shaped like a McRib in, in that it is like a pe- the pizza pie is shaped in the sort the, of a fake pizza rib pie. form? And also, is it chunks of like cut up little pieces of McRib on it, or are we just slapping some some literal whole McRib? No, on top I think of this pizza? I think whole McRib things on there. Hmm. I was picturing instead of sauce, it's McRibs lining the whole pizza so it's just and then you put McRib. your toppings on top of that now so like barbecue makes... sauce what no the mcrib's the sauce so okay Tanner, you understand what a sauce is you know what i <laughs> yeah the mcrib is the sauce in this situation oh wait can you explain it to me a little more well i feel like i've been pretty clear you have your crust that the mcrib is the is the sauce and then it's oh, covered the crust entirely is what no okay. well actually maybe you might have just stumbled upon something there. Mm-hmm. I'm just very confused by what you mean with McRib as the sauce. The McRib is the sauce. What is it I don't understand? <laughs> is it like ground up? I can't be is, any and that's how No, it's, a it's sauce? just it's a solid. <laughs> <laughs> now I just like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna search real quick, just like just for fun. I'm just gonna search the dictionary definition of the word sauce, then kind of see what we come up with and see if McRib could fall underneath that that Here, heading. Here's what. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, in cooking, a sauce is a liquid, cream, or semi-solid food served on or used in preparing other foods. Oh, you know what that Boom. sounds like? A Basically, McRib. a McRib, right <laughs> there. McRib. Semi-solid <laughs> food. <laughs> you, you got, or well, you know how you ever have it? Oh boy, I think everyone's had this one where you go and you get a McRib. You're very excited, and you open up the bun, and you go to like put it in your mouth, and the whole McRib just liquefies into your lap, like. Mm, yeah. you gotta be careful i think everybody's first <laughs> goes a little bit like that like the yeah, terminator right. 2 guy like just uh. a little thumbs up comes out of the sauce and you're of like, course <laughs> <as> a... <laughs> and just like i was terminator thinking <laughs> what if you buy a bunch of mcribs you take the buns you mash them down into a makeshift crust you just fill that crust with some bbq mm-hmm. and then slap some whatever mcribs on top right there is there uh, any cheese on a mcrib no no, Got there it. is uh, onions and pickles. All right, good. More toppings. Excuse me, um, Drew. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Back, back What's here. What's up? Um, yeah. The hey, one with you. His hand up. Um, waving with the. You're a clown, I mm-hmm. think. Yeah. I, Hong Kong. So I thought this might be a, a good fascinator to like draw yeah. the attention to me. Mm-hmm. Really uh, did. Don't know how I missed you before. Uh, so is, in your description there is the sauce McRibs or? Oh, damn. 
I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> Shit. Um, no, it's not. Son so of a that, bitch. I, I'm sorry. I put my resignation in for McDonald's. No further um, questions. CEO. Yeah, I'm sorry. The um, sauce is McRibs. So I think uh, Tyler, to, to answer your question, um, yes, the sauce is <laughs> yeah. McRibs. I'm in. Mark Cuban, I think he's he's saying he's in. Nate Tanner, what are you what are you guys thinking? As long as the sauce is McRibs, like I'm fine. <laughs> I was okay. not on board with Tanner, but now I'm extremely on board with Tanner's the sauce is McRibs. The sauce is McRibs. Thank you. I think I think that's got to be the the title. I don't know if it will or not. <laughs> I well, if, I, if we don't have to bang our heads against the wall for five minutes trying to think of a title, I'm all for it. Yeah, I am down with that. Uh, so are you in, Tanner? I, I got to get Tyler needs your brother needs to know. Uh, I don't think it's a viable idea. I'm out. Well. That's uh, I mean, I'm in for five dollars, and like Nate probably in for I don't know how much you're throwing in. Like I think I think I have an old McRib I could probably throw in. Oh, that'll be good. We need that for the sauce. Um, Mark Cuban's probably in for two hundred fifty thousand. Um, <laughs> well, is that for a five like percent stake in the company, or what are we talking prob- about? He, I think he's you know, pushing we'll, we'll for seven. He wants seven. Tank. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. Boy. <laughs> If hey, you, hey, guys! If, you know, you, you know what Andrew, I learned today. Like, yeah. What's oh, sorry, up? sorry. You say what you were gonna say. Oh, I, 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 I went to work today, and I did a lot of stuff today. But I think the biggest thing I got out of today was that the sauce is McRibs. It's important. It's very, it's very important. important. Yeah. What were you saying? Oh, I was just thinking. You know, while we're at the top of the show here, if you're if you're out there and you're saying, "Wow, is that they?" They played another voicemail from. From his brother, that's crazy. This must be favoritism. And believe us when we say it's not favoritism. He's just the only one who calls that line. Uh, if, if you would like to be on, we could throw out the number now so that it's at the oh. top of the podcast and maybe people will listen. Yeah. So, the, uh, hey, folks, if you want to send us those hard-hitting questions um, and get Literally a anything. very satisfying, satisfying answer from us, that number is 319-596-6766. And if you're like, oh what? boy, I don't think what I have is good enough to talk about. Please, we just talked about putting making we a just... McRib pizza. So, like anything goes. It makes my day when I see we have voicemails. Most mostly from, well, the first one was Tanner just testing the line, and I think it was just ten seconds of silence. But anyway. Yeah. Well, no, I talked and I flushed the toilet on it. <laughs> you are a beauty. Um. Hey, uh, <laughs> Nate. Hello. Hey, what uh, what are we doing? What do we what do we do here besides create world changing um fast food dishes? Ah, you you're wondering like what's the mic, the meat of this podcast? What's the McRib of this podcast? What's the sauce of what we do here? Yeah, what right, is that's that good. Sweet? What's the little, what's the what's that special sauce that we have here on the podcast? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So Drew, what we do here is every week we take articles, uh, we go around the internet, you the three of us, and we scour for some bizarre and strange headlines. We look through uh, articles and headlines that you, the listener, have sent in to us to take a take a look at. We throw all those articles, we put them in a list, and we pick one at random, and we do keep them week to week. So if you do send one in, we, we do keep it until we, uh, we eventually it, it does get used. Uh, and we pick that headline, and we use it for an origin story for a superhero or a supervillain. So last week... We made, and I do, I do remember. It's it's very important. It's very good how much I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I remember. I think we all remember how we made. Yeah. F- yep. Fan lady. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, hang on. Tailspin. Yeah, tails from Sonic. Uh huh. S- Flight. Tongue twister. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. It. And then we also made the most world's most hated villain because he's so reprehensible. Grimace, the whatever he is. Okay, but Machete what does he man. go? Machete man. Machete man. <laughs> God. Oh yeah. Sorry. I, oops. Spoilers. Uh, he maybe maybe Grimace is Machete he man. Might be Grimace. He's a very boxy individual. It's to hard hide to say. all that. Some people, I've heard some people saying that Machete Man is actually the Loch Ness monster, but you can't tell because all the pictures of him are so blurry. Yeah. So Tanner, what what are we what are, what are we doing this week? Uh, okay. So this week, um, I picked an article already, and we're making a villain. Yeah. Because yes. sorry, Machete Man just threw me off because I hate him mm-hmm. so much. I know. Right? Just, like, mm, machete Man. Huh, let's take let's anyway. take a quick break and vent about Machete Man. Oh, we'll just okay. Fucking Machete Man. <laughs> 
Okay, we're just going to cut out here. All right, I feel a lot better now. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, but thank God. I punched about seven walls. I think the police are coming, but I have enough time. All right. Yeah. Okay. So um, this week, the article that I picked is number one for you guys, and it is inmates use peanut butter to escape Alabama jail. Now, and this is actually fan submitted. Oh, there you go. From Eli Sirota, and I am sorry if I mispronounced that. Thank you, Eli. We greatly appreciate it. This is a good one. Now, what I like right away about this one, a lot of my favorite episodes in the past that we've made are food related. Food. For better or for worse, we're good at we're good at food ing. And, and this one is food, and I'm hopeful that we can do a good job with this one, too. What I'm also loving is that we spent a good chunk, or Tanner lectured us on how to make a peanut butter sandwich last week. Oh, crap, I did. Yeah, I, I will never forget that. I've, my, I've been doing it wrong all these years, so <laughs> week two of the peanut butter um, saga. <laughs> all right, so a villain. All right, and it's a group. It's a, it's a lot of villains. It's inmates. I didn't actually click this article. I'm... Mm. Oh well, hold yeah, on. Warning, it's it's the first video. article is one inmate remains at large. Ooh. Ooh, twelve prisoners went on the run from Walker County Jail. Eleven have been captured. One is still out there. What are we thinking? So that one's the kingpin. That's the the ringleader. So I think we've got a. I think what's most important in this situation is we got to figure out how they use peanut butter to escape Alabama jail um, oh, without looking at the article. Obvious. Oh, okay. I'll pretend yeah. I didn't look at the article. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's uh let's riff here. I think so it's probably Well, I think they put peanut butter between the bars of the jail cell and they just squeeze on through. Peanut butter Oh, so it's mm-hmm. Yeah, go, go ahead, Drew. You so you think that the the peanut butter helps you make more make you more slippery. Yeah. I, mean, I it's, don't It's oil based, I guess, but like I just don't yeah, like, it was that organic peanut butter. That's all oil and very gross. Oh yeah, like close to the top. Yeah, yeah. So they use that oil and they just lather their bodies in it. Mm. They grease, squeeze grease through like pigs. some sort of greased pig. Oh, you said it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Peanut butter up those pigs. Mm. Yeah. Could they have stuck peanut butter in the lock and it did? I don't. Or what if? Here's a comedic little thing. They're uh, the, the guards are patrolling the yard. Shows them looking around with their flashlights. Nothing's going on. They move on. Camera pans up. There's just 12 prisoners just like stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> oh, that's very good. And they just are just peanut buttered up there. I thought you were going to say that the guards were allergic to peanut butter. Oh, they could. That's also an element. What if it's just like a multi-step thing where everything, all they have at their disposal is peanut butter? So much peanut butter for some reason. They saved up every day's portion of peanut butter with breakfast, and they saved it shows it up. them comedically using shanks to like scoop the peanut butter out, and then throwing the shanks <laughs> away because they don't need those. Yeah, they yeah, need yeah, that yeah. peanut butter, <laughs> like shoveling peanut butter out, and then getting putting the shovels back because they don't need that. They need that peanut butter. <laughs> And there's like there's a a poster on the wall that behind it's a hole with peanut butter just in the hole. <laughs> what okay, what they they um they have connections in the prison. Um guy comes up to them, slowly slides them a package, they open it up, it's just some C4 in there, and they're like, Yeah, yeah, this is stuff. And they dig into the C4, there's some more peanut butter, and they get rid of the C4. <laughs> they're smuggling peanut butter in yeah. through C4. They need a lot, a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> Could it be that peanut butter is what fuels this one person who's evaded capture and like somehow gives them the power to help them all escape? I kind of so just like him being the Hawkeye of peanut butter. Like <laughs> Hawkeye got no powers, but he's very good with that bow. He's got so many uses and, and ways to so use it. What's he? What's this peanut butter person do? Throws peanut butter? Gets mm-hmm. gets them all sticky? Like the... So- the makes makes he like he distracts people by making horses talk like he's like ah look at this horse talking oh. and the horse is like eating the peanut butter and he's like ah, that's a that nuts? reference there <laughs> that's, a, that's a sick reference Nate. yeah i know it's very topical <laughs> i don't even know what you're talking about i just know that they would probably move their mouths a lot no in mr ed that's how the the, the talking oh. horse show that's how they got him to talk yeah, okay oh because he hated that... peanut butter and so they put peanut butter in there and he'd be like get this fucking shit out of my mouth <laughs> yeah. I that is censored people. what he said. <laughs> censored version. It's just him. Why won't you let me die? 
please, I just don't want this peanut butter. And then a lot of racist slurs or whatever. But that's yeah, it was a different time. He was a horse. He was, yeah. <laughs> and he was a horse. Um, horse is notoriously racist. <laughs> <laughs> How I don't I still don't understand how he's the Hawkeye of peanut butter. I I don't I feel either. Like we, just told you. I, we just need we just need to we would need to come up with different ways well, he can uh, use so peanut butter yeah, to his so advantage. You already did the, like, the six butter to the bombs. wall of the ceilings thing. That's one. Yeah, you put what some crunchy that? stuff in there. Oh boy, you got shrapnel going everywhere. Oh for sure. Like he can cover himself in peanut butter and blend into things that are like brown tones. So can it's kind of like, camouflage. Mm-hmm. What if he's got like a gun? And he takes an unscrewed bottle of Jif and he like screws it into the bottom like a magazine. And it's just <laughs> so, straight so out peanut got... butter. I thought yeah, what... you were going to say, just like, he's got all these peanut butter skills. Also, what if he has a gun? What if he has a gun, <laughs> He just guys? like shoots people in the head Great. with a gun. <laughs> and then like he smears peanut butter over their eyes. It's his calling card. I like this peanut gun, though. Could Do... We can expand it and just be like peanuts. Well, then he's just George Washington Carver. Yeah, who famously fought crime with his, his, the, the peanuts he grew. Are you talking about Charles Schultz now? <laughs> Are you talking about Mr. Ed? He was the horse. Mr. Ed. There, <laughs> get out of here, you racist horse. All right. Jeez. Different time. Okay, that I will, but that, that's fun. Just like, he can, he can stick, he can climb walls, he can use his peanut gun and peanut butter gun. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Trying to think of what else. There's so many people allergic to peanuts now, so that like that's just an inherent advantage. What if what if ironically he's allergic to peanuts? How would that (laughs) ever work? How would that work? (laughs) He's really into it. I don't know. (laughs) I'm a little lactose intolerant, but I still eat so much cheese. Yeah, but you're not deathly allergic. (laughs) (laughs) Some would argue. Be like if Mr. Freeze dies immediately if he goes below 32 degrees. <laughs> oh, but I love it so much. I just want these this moment of bliss. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. He's allergic to peanuts. I wrote it down. Well, no, I feel like we're not doing that part. <laughs> yeah, well, he wrote it down on the list of no-nos. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So for the escape plan, did he just... He's just has a natural gift of manipulating peanut butter into like what they need. The cell has a, it needs a key and he just molds and hardens some peanut butter mm. into the perfect shape I like for that. the key. Just walks on out, gets his friends out. Then what's, what's step, what's step two? They're out of their cells now. What, what are the Tanner? What, what's, what's next? Well, then they got to get to the peanut butter vat and crawl out through the pipeline <laughs> of peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> Well, first they have to they have to slowly dig their way through a wall. Yeah, they have to use a tiny little uh, butter knife. Butter knife to pick it their way through it. And there's gonna be a, a poster of Rita Hayward's was gonna cover it up. Is that actually um, what the poster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it is Rita in the Hayworth. book at least. I, no, it's <laughs> I read in the, the movie book too. It's also Rita movie. Hayworth. Okay. Um, oh, th- well, I'm sorry. This is a completely original idea we're thinking of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The book that we wrote. Earlier. But first, did he? take some money from the the warden or something yeah okay so this place doubles as a peanut butter factory so it's a peanut butter factory prison why did they need to smuggle in peanut butter because they were sneaking it off the line oh okay you know the peanut butter factory line Mm -hmm. where Mm -hmm. they assemble the peanut butter well i mean you know some prisons do all the like work projects where they make license plates and stuff this place maybe was just doing stuff with peanut butter just lots of peanut butter which maybe they shouldn't uh, have housed a villain who was really good with peanut butter there, but maybe they didn't. Wow. They didn't know. They didn't know. Oh, he, okay. He maintained that he was deathly allergic to peanuts, but he's not. <laughs> so he <laughs> so they it. essentially put him in there to die. <laughs> maybe maybe his wife maybe his wife died of pe- peanut poisoning. There's something. Wait, why? Because uh, you know. Things happen, man. That's right. <laughs> you know? I meant more what just so there's tragedy there, so you feel bad for this guy. Maybe I, you know, I, that's that's what makes a good villain. Maybe I'm almost some... kinda thinking like punish like you, you when you said his wife, I was thinking maybe something with like something punisher like where his wife is dead and he goes on some sort of vengeance rampage, but I guess he's still more of a anti hero. Yeah, but well, I, don't, I don't know. Have we ever made like an anti hero? Derek in his own way is an anti hero, but he's anti hero. He's an anti hero to such... himself. Yeah. He's not killing mm. people. It's like the best villains think they're a hero. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the best heroes think that 
they're a villain. Maybe his, his so wife died from peanut poisoning, and they put him in this peanut factory to be like an extra. Fuck you, <laughs> because Alabama's they want to kill him off. Is very fucked up. He knew too much. Because they're well, it, but that and also just like, hey, your wife died from peanuts. Well, now peanuts are your life. And instead of him going crazy, they didn't crack that nut. He actually embraced it and got real good with peanut butter. So was he convicted of a crime, or were they just like, "Ha, killed your wife. Now we're just gonna send you to prison." <laughs> He, well, he, maybe he knew I, something that they needed to keep quiet, so they couldn't outright kill him, okay. so they sent him to the prison. Well, I feel like is it this the pe- is a big peanut for a butter? hero, then. Well. Or is it Punisher style, where he's like, well, I'm going to go get revenge and kill people. I mean. He could be. What if that's what he starts off with. Maybe this is an anti-hero. I kind of like that. We haven't made one, I'm, really. No. I mean, yeah, we've had I'm tight with that. Infestra, who started off as a villain and is slowly kind of walks that line. But yeah, what if it's basically Punisher meets Shawshank meets Jif? That's what I've been trying to do all along. And Mr. Ed is there. <laughs> and he That's says some really unspeakable things, but <laughs> he's got really a kind of sense of Inappropriate, he says. just horribly racially charged. Ugh. That's one of the 12 inmates is a horse. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he gets transferred to the prison that houses <laughs> John the prison has it all. <laughs> Oh, it's the donkey prison. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the donkey prison that that house our character are two is two hyper intelligent donkeys. donkeys from like so apparently twenty yeah. episodes ago. So this ago. is a oh. prison where they house animals as well. So yeah, there's a horse there. He's in, he's there. It is Mr. Ed. It's Mr. Ed. <laughs> he's super old and still like he should have died. Everyone's very confused why he's still alive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. So okay, where are we at in the escape plan? Oh, they got out of the cell. And then <laughs> oh, they, yeah. Isn't that the whole thing? I mean, dumb, and then they, basically. <laughs> that's basically it. They need to get through the... Well, Tanner said the peanut pipeline, the peanut butter pipeline. Do they Do they pull a Shawshank and crawl out the the tube? Yeah. The piping? I think so. And they're just covered in peanut butter and it's raining. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it, there's 12 of them. Unless did he... Did he, like, fuck over those 11 people? Like, maybe... <laughs> I just had a vision of they get to the peanut butter tube. There's like five of them who haven't gotten caught so far. The horse is still there. They look the horse is clearly not going to fit. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. <laughs> Sorry, Ed. <laughs> like, we got so go. he's the first one down. <laughs> that, that maybe. Or yeah, I don't know. Like throughout the, the escape, they had to ditch people to, or abandon. Yeah, people. So they're slowly losing people throughout it. They're, they're, that scene that I described earlier where they're on the, the ceiling stuck up there, and now there's a horse up there as well, and that brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like slowly trying to crawl through an air duct that's also up there, and they all get through except the last guy, and he falls down right at the foot of some guard. And the guard looks up, and they'd, they'd already closed the, the, the grate. Guy's that like, guy's like, oh, I must have just been hanging out on the ceiling. As you do. What are you trying to do? What are you doing? Get back in your cell. <laughs> Get back in your stable. What are you doing, silly um, goose? Yeah, so that kind of situation. Do are they si- uh, do they silence guards? Like they sneak up behind them and just stuff peanut butter in their mouth, and they can't talk. It mm-hmm. looks like they're talking. Oh yeah, but they're just really just moving their mouth a lot. Hmm. I like that. Yeah, they're like trying to yell for help, but they're also just smacking their mouth because it's yeah, it's it's very tasty and it's very sticky. And Ed Ed's just like yeah. I know, right? <laughs> and he kicks him. And I have this big horse tongue. Kick. <laughs> Kick. And then, uh, so, do we need to talk more about the escape, or are they are they out now? I have a. I have. Is it? Is yeah. there a possibility that yes. maybe Mister Ed does make it out so that <laughs> our peanut man can hang out with Mister Ed the whole time? <laughs> the other ten guys, I don't care. <laughs> maybe they right. can't take life in the real world well, too much here's time what has passed the, by okay and here's themselves. how we retcon that it's 12, 12 <laughs> men escaped um, 11 were captured they don't mention the horse maybe they're so That's embarrassed true. that they lost a national tra- a national treasure like Mr. <laughs> also Ed, a like, big ass horse they let it just walk out <laughs> like oh shit uh, no he's still here what do you mean how did how did Ed get through the uh, the grate or the the peanut pipeline. Well, they obviously slathered him with thought. peanut butter, and he just slipped right through. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> we already set a precedent. What if we don't even <laughs> like? What if the comic doesn't even address that? They they get to the peanut pipeline. They're like, okay, let's go, Ed. And the the guy goes through first, and it doesn't even show Ed going through it at all. It's clearly too small. But then he gets out at the other side, and then Ed is there. Yeah, I'm, well. I'm down with that. Yeah. Maybe, the, maybe hints at a larger. Uh, maybe there's more to Mr. Ed than there appears. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, oh yeah, perfect. So we got these, this so this boy and this this hairy hoof boy out. Mm-hmm. Now so they're what? outside they, prison. Now um, Ed's just cracking wise and making racist remarks. Is is <laughs> the peanut butter villain anti villain now riding Ed around? Well, no, I think they see each other as equals. I don't think yeah, he they're sees a duo. Like ride. But- not he's Ed is not subservient, and he. Will I mean, not be maybe ridden. they do. They even have to be a duo. Maybe Ed's just like I got some shit to take care of, and like rides off into the sunset. <laughs> but I just driving down the street, just no. shooting people up. <laughs> I just picture Ed like is driving down the streets of Baltimore all of a sudden, and like someone goes, "Oh shit, it's Mister Ed," and he just starts <laughs> shooting up a street. There's a drive by. <laughs> Nay, motherfuckers. <laughs> Thought I was dead, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Fuck peanut butter guy. I don't give a shit about him. I don't know what Mr. Ed's doing. <laughs> what was Mr. Ed doing? <laughs> it's well, like, Marla uh, was trying to move on and moving on his streets yeah, while he was it. in prison. <laughs> Stringer Bell ain't now. Stringer Ed ain't gonna, gonna stand for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, what are you doing in this neighborhood? Window goes down. Oh shit! <laughs> oh fuck. Um, yeah, so that <laughs> maybe Peanut Butter Man helps him. Yeah, with this. maybe he helps him, and in return, Mister Ed's gonna use his connections with the mobs in Baltimore to help him take out who wrongly accused him. Which was obviously Big Peanut Butter, Crunchy Peanut Butter. Yeah. It was GIF. Pretty much writes itself. Um, yeah, I mean that's that's a pretty cliche story, but what's a what's a costume look like? Now, are we talking about Mr. Ed here or Peanut Butter Man? <laughs> I think Mr. Ed is just a glorious stallion, very old but still spry. Mm-hmm. Um, but probably some market. I don't even know what Mr. Ed looked like. Uh, <laughs> Yo, he's a horse. So he kind of had like a really long face. Face, yeah. <laughs> and hooves. He always looked real sad. <laughs> And he was always saying racist things. Um, Holy shit. This horse would be like 70 years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they didn't uh, expect him to ever come back. They're like, oh, he's shit, gotta be dead. Out. He's a horse. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was driven. But okay, pe- Peanut Butter Man. Should we name? I mean, I know we just talked about costume. Should we? It would be easier if we named him now, or do we want to try and iron out costume? Yeah, we should maybe name him, and then we do costume. That would probably, okay. I think, name drives costume. Mm, that could help. Yeah, really spurs us, gallops us towards it. Uh, but before we do in the Boo, name, bad. do do the do that name. Let's uh, hear from another podcast. Every year, new TV shows get canceled. Some make it an entire season, and some don't even make it that far. I'm Ed, host of Unaired, where each week we review a show that was canceled with episodes left unaired, then pitch our ideas for what could have been future episodes of those shows. We've covered shows like Cavemen, the show based on the Geico Cavemen commercials, the ill-fated 2011 Wonder Woman pilot, a show called Look Well, where Adam West plays an aging TV detective who thinks he can solve real crimes, and many more. You can find us on iTunes, Google Play, unairedpodcast.com, or wherever you download podcasts podcasts and remember some things are better left unaired i man, ever since we started talking about shawshank i've been trying to make get busy living get busy dying work in some context with this and all i can come up with is get busy living get busy dry roasting peanuts (laughs) (laughs) get busy living get busy get busy living or or get busy dry roasting peanuts you have that's your choice (laughs) Get busy living, get busy crunchy. No, well, get I busy think we're living back. or get busy getting me some some GIF because I need it. No, nah, well, Stat. we'll workshop it in post. Yeah, yeah, that was a good promo. Oh yeah, I love that promo. It was good. We weren't talking about <laughs> whatever you all just heard. So name, 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 name. What's what's hey, well? First of all, what's in a name? Like I think that's where we should start. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like. Up. 
There's an A in it. Yeah, I've heard some people say there's an M in there too, but I haven't checked for myself. Can't verify. Conflicting reports. What are the elements? We got peanut. Jiff Jeff. Nailed it. Done. Jiff Jeff. Jiff Jeff. <laughs> hey, Jiff Jeff. Um, crunchy. Um, this um, is. We decided it's an anti hero because skippy. he's going up. Skippy. Skippy. Or we could do. What's that? Peanut butter that I always like to to buy. Um, great value. <laughs> <laughs> George Foreman Washington Carver. Except he 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 has a knife. Is he Machete Man? Machete. Oh no! Don't even. <laughs> the nut. Nut oh, pea roasted. It's really just peanut butter. Maybe he keeps leaving um, peanut butter smeared on all of his victims, and he becomes known as the Peanut Butter Killer, or PBK. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a serial killer I, I guess he could just go as the peanut butter killer but that's just that sounds a little too serial killer-y yeah. oh yeah no he's a serial killer that's what I was trying to imply well the Punisher's not really a serial I guess he I don't know <laughs> well is he more like Craven? is he hunting people down I think he I imagine him closer to the Punisher than Craven the Hunter I imagine I'm closer Cra- to Craven uh, Ted the Crunchy. <laughs> Should we try yeah. our our two word two two words related to mash thing, up, the mashup? Name? Okay. Yeah, girl talking. Okay. Just let's talk this out. Um so one obviously has to be a peanut butter word. The other has to be like a vigilante word or something. Yes, yeah, so that one's much more broad, so whoever whoever does that one has their work cut out for them. Yeah, Jesus. I'm, just I'm struggling with peanut butter. <laughs> the the PB vigilante, the PBV. <laughs> PBV. That sounds like an STV. Oh shit! I got that. I got that PBV. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of like literally any other word, vigilante related word. I got I got one for a word that's not peanut butter related, unless that, Drew has that's one. A vigilante word. Mm-hmm. Wait, no. Mm-hmm. Right, let's let's see where it goes. Kinda. All right. Yeah, I got a word. You got something? Yeah, I got something. Okay, now I'm worried my word's not going to be good enough. Let's do it. I don't think that's going to be the case. All right. Nate, you count us down. Okay, uh, we'll do the go. I'll go three, two, one, go, and you guys go on. on Rock, go. paper, scissors, shoot. All right. Okay. Yes. Uh, three, two, one. Extra crunchy. Bandit. Extra crunchy bandit. <laughs> 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 I kind of like it. <laughs> bandit was a good choice. Thank you. Maybe the Crunch Bandit for short. Crunch Bandit. <laughs> Extra Crunchy Bandit. Crunch um, Bandit and the and Mr. Ed and the Crunch Bandit. <laughs> you want to you go by like Peanut Bandit? Because it's kind of like Peanut. No, Extra Crunchy. <laughs> it's the best kind. Well, what about Smooth? No. <laughs> he does use smooth in his day to day. I mean, yeah, smooth, out of necessity. Smooth has its uses, but extra crunchy. So he's the known extra for. crunchy bandit. Yep, that's it right there. All right. Uh, so does he have like a face mask then for part of his costume? Because he's a bandit. Uh, when you said face mask, I was thinking like catcher's stuff. But what? What do you mean face mask? Oh, like no, a right. bandana? The bandana. Yeah. Or a ski mask? Like Daredevil, what he wears in season one of the live TV show, but with eye yeah, holes. Yeah, he's wearing that, and he's running into everything. <laughs> I, I said he's very with bad. eye holes. But does he, with, like, hmm, I was going to say, does he cover his whole head with peanut butter? <laughs> that seems impractical. <laughs> That's <laughs> that very. Maybe better, just though. around the eyes, because you look at Batman and any, like, Christian Bale or Ben Affleck, they, they have the black makeup around his eyes. Yeah, I watched Dark Knight last night, and that oh. scene where Joker's coming up to the penthouse... He like goes into his like little secret closet to change into his Batman stuff, and he comes out. He clearly has eyeshadow on, which means he yeah, took the time to they, do that. He's always wearing eyeshadow, and it always bugs me. <laughs> um, so wait, does he have peanut butter on his whole face? I don't. Or is what it if like, he's like, just wearing? I, I, I thought the what? idea of having it just around the eyes is pretty fun. It's yeah, kind, yeah. Kind of like a. And he's wearing. What if it's just an empty container of like the big Sam's Club thing of peanut butter as around a helmet? his head yeah and he's dressed all in black like he's definitely punisher except for his head mm. it looks like 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 the man stuck his head in a dumpster <laughs> maybe, a maybe instead of like a stylized chest? skull on his shirt it's like a stylized like faded pe- picture of like peanut butter like a peanut made butter out jar. of peanut butter it's, yeah mm. 
does he have a peanut butter jar bandolier of some kind? Uh, probably. Yeah, I have to assume. I mean, he's he got his big gun, butters. of course. He's got that big gun. That there's big a funnel gun. on one side where he can just empty peanuts into it, and then there's the other side with the hole where he screws in those jars of peanut butter. Mm-hmm. And Mr. Ed's there. And Mr. Ed's there. And he's also Mr. got a little Ed. pouch on his belt that has just just like a little snack of just peanuts in case he gets peanuts. hungry. Like yeah, he eats a lot but of also he can load them into his gun. But sometimes he gets a little, you know, gets a little nippish. hungry. It's a little it's a good source of protein. And sometimes Ed just really needs to eat. Ed gets really hangry. <laughs> Ed's got all the connections too. And racist. So. Yeah, I like the idea of Mr. Ed being his like combination like wheel man and inf- like Oracle almost. Right? He's just like he picks <laughs> yeah. up the peanut butter guy in his, his sick car. He does not let him ride on his back, but he will pick him up in his sick car. Oh yeah. And he has the connections that he needs. Oh, does does Mr. Ed, does he ironically drive a Mustang? <laughs> or is, is that too much? How much horsepower is in a Mustang? I, a lot. One. There's one horse in there, silly. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> Come on. Ed's probably got to have a mask to conceal his identity. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's got one mask around his eyes and... Uh, but as soon as he takes it off, that's when they recognize him. Oh, it's Mr. Ed. Shit. Wears a pair of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that horse with glasses? Who's that racist horse with glasses? I <laughs> <laughs> Could be anyone. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's pretty perfect right there. Uh, what else do we need to do? Weaknesses? Weaknesses is good. We should probably address that. Milk? I don't know. Let's go with peanut butter. <laughs> A, a jelly someone who has jelly powers is he very against jelly ironically very against jelly i don't think it's ironic but i mean like the phrase is you you go we go together like peanut butter and bananas mm. ah, so that is a good combo uh, that's pretty good uh, peanut um, butter and celery oh i do love that get some raisins on there get some lance on mm. it's a fun little Put game some because <laughs> yeah. we're we're uh, learning about nature and also having a delicious snack yeah so jelly what does he do with jelly run away i don't know maybe i don't know why he would like be afraid of jelly but maybe the people he's been hunting down start to figure it out and they start lining their doorways with jelly around it and that's that'll keep him out like he's some sort of vampire but instead of <laughs> garlic it's jelly <laughs> Like what? Like in the story in Exodus, that how they marked their doors so the thing would overpass. Yeah, that's exactly first... what I was thinking of. Actually, <laughs> the jelly <laughs> wouldn't get. Don't kill anyone in here, please. My firstborn, please don't touch. Shit, there's jelly here. I can't go in there. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Let's not do that. Um. Yeah, because everything so far has made a lot of sense. Yeah, I know. I we like to base everything in realism. You're right. What happens? If his peanut butter is out too long. It gets crusty in terms of cement. Yeah, maybe maybe he can use that, but I don't mm. I no. He used the cemented peanut butter to make his key though, so it's not really yeah, a weakness. He's, he's it's a something he has at his talents. disposal. My god, maybe we just made the perfect villain who has no weaknesses except for yeah, guns. Yeah, he has no weakness. Maybe Mr. Ed's his weakness. He's too he's emotionally attached to Mr. Ed. Oh, uh, so oh. someone kidnaps Mr. Ed? Oh, and then he just can't. <laughs> he just gets really madder, though. You know, I that, feel like it just fuels that, him. That cute, adorable, that darn racist horse. Like, everyone's favorite. Yeah. Everyone's favorite. That's his weakness right there, is mm-hmm. Ed. His emotions. Yeah. He got too close. Ed motions. He told himself he shouldn't give in like that again. Not since yeah. not since Martha died. He can he couldn't love again, but here we go. <laughs> there he is, loving this horse. Not in like Why? a... Not like a why did man. You, why did you say that? Name? Not in the, why, not in the why, biblical why? sense. <laughs> why, sorry, Martha? why did I say? Sorry, what? What you? Why did you say that name? Oh, uh, that's that's my mom's name. Oh, is that your mom's name hey. too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, oh yeah. My, my my name is my 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 mom's name is also Martha. <laughs> hey, Drew. Hey, I we think, just had a fun moment there. I don't I think, think I'm we're actually kill qualified to write a blockbuster movie now. <laughs> <laughs> and I suddenly just don't want to kill you, like. <laughs> All of that oh, out the God. window. The tension was getting a bit much. Yeah. The sexual hey, what's tension, your, Is your mom named Martha Tanner? Yes. I I don't believe you. Hey, Nate. Well, here's my birth certificate, motherfucker. Yeah. Let's um. 
I think we have to kill Tanner now. I think so. I feel an yeah. un an un an, like huge amount of rage against him. Martha for driven no rage that I need to kill Tanner. Yo, right I can hear you. <laughs> no, you can't. Mm. This is a Martha's mom only club, so <laughs> All right, yeah, now let's get back into it. Comic book cover? Is it the escape? Or it's do you think bad. it's something else? I what if it's the scene of Ed driving up and the the people on the side of the road saying, Oh shit. And then Peanut now, Butter Man is on the roof. Well, that's not <laughs> his name. The distance. <laughs> no, on the roof of the car. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> like, it's, the extra it's, crunchy it's, bandit. Yeah, extra crunchy <laughs> bandit on the cover of his first comic book. You can see him way back there. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, they're like they've got they're they're like spray painting some graffiti. And they turn and they look and they see Ed. And then on the, the roof of the car, there's the extra crunchy bandit. They're like, oh, fuck, Ed. And this guy. I don't know who this guy is, but. <laughs> this guy who I don't know. Fuck, he's got a gun. And also, peanut butter? What That's is, his is power. shit on his face? What's going on? He's like loading in a jar uh, a jar of Jif. Ed's extra got crunchy. sunglasses on. Music is real loud. You can hear it. It's a, it's a very obnoxious comic book cover. It, and it's just, pl- it, but the song is even, you can just tell is the Mr. Ed theme song. <laughs> Except in minor key. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is that basically it for us? Or? I think so. I mean. Yeah. All right. Then um, I think we got it. Um, boom. Jif. Kobe. So that that's that's a fun one. Um, the Extra Crunchy Bandit. Tanner, did you want to play us out here? Yes, I did. So this has been issue number 35 of Headline Heroes, featuring our new super villain, well, new super villains, uh, the Extra Crunchy Bandit and Mr. Ed, the racist horse. We wanted to take this time, as always, to thank Brett Jacobson, who created the art for our show. Brett is much shorter than me. And also at this time, I want to do a quick shout out to our one of our biggest fans, Travis. Uh, it's his birthday today as of the recording right now. So um, happy birthday, Travis. It's going to be belated since you'll be hearing this a few days after that. But yeah, happy birthday to super fan Travis. Happy birthday, Travis. Happy birthday, Travis. I'm going to edit Nate out so he's real rude. Yeah, yeah. it's fine. <laughs> it goes well with my bad boy persona. Mm. You put those sunglasses away. Yeah, I will not. <laughs> bad boy. Nate. And put that cigarette out. <laughs> In your arm. I'm trying to quit, okay? <laughs> Nate. Oh, sorry. It's me now. Yeah. You got me all distracted with us <laughs> t- talking. Hey, about- put that cigarette out. Stop putting it out in your arm. Yeah, okay, hold on. Okay. Um, we also want to thank Carl Sorensen, as you may have heard at the beginning and soon to come at the end of this podcast. Carl did the music uh, for us for our intro and outro, and we, we love that. He also does all the post-processing work for us here at the podcast. If you're interested in getting in working with Carl and hiring him to do some work for you, you can reach out to him uh, at his website, carljsorensen.com. Uh, check out his work there and see if he wants to do some business with you. If you have any articles you'd like to see us discuss, because now you've seen what we can do with a weird article about people escaping with peanut butter, and boy, it's a gem. Um, send them our way. You can email them to us, headlineheroescast at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter. You can tweet them at us. It's at headline underscore heroes. We have a Facebook group, and you can definitely post them on there. And we finally, we have a phone number, which we mentioned at the top, but I'll, I'll throw it in here um, just to be safe. It's 319-596-6766. So many ways you can send us um, articles. If you're listening to us on iTunes or Stitcher, we'd really appreciate it if you give us some sort of rating. Give us five Mr. Eds for four peanuts in 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 the peanut butter. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really extra crunchy. It's not even crunchy. It's just... <laughs> It's just four, four peanut peanut butter, my favorite kind of peanut butter. Give us a review. Tell us uh, what you like. Tell us what you don't like. Tell you know what? Tell us that your your mom's name is also Martha. We re- we would like to know that. Uh, so thank you for joining us, and we hope you'll pick up the next issue of Headline Heroes. Hello, I'm Mr. Red. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the theme of Mr. Ed starts. <laughs> <laughs>